All right, so I picked up another blazer and it's got a few issues. I only paid $500 for it, so that's not too bad. But one of the issues is that the seat controls on the driver's side just don't work at all. Um, I've done some troubleshooting already, but this is somebody had already been in here and these brass uh, tabs were all over the place. They were all jumbled around. So I'm going to try to pop this back together and I'll just run through the troubleshoot, uh, troubleshooting steps that I took to diagnose the issue. Mine ends up being that it's um, a bad motor. Um, you want to be careful because you do have a constant hot, this orangish red wire here, which on the back side here, these two here up by my index finger, and then you've got a ground right here. So if you connect those up, uh, you're going to know it. I'm just going to pop this in place, push it down. All right, so you want to be careful because this right here is just snapped in place. There's a T5 Torx that actually holds the back side on. And I've got that off right now, and I was trying to diagnose it, and uh, what I don't have still is forward and back, and that appears to be a common issue with these seats. Um, so I wanted to kind of run through a little troubleshooting uh, that I did. Okay, so we know that this is a ground here. I'm just going to use a test light here, and we know that this is hot, and that's with the key off, so it's a constant hot, and this is actually hot right here too. Okay, so it is hot right there. All right, so I determined that uh, the brown wire here, this light brown wire, is what should be hot when you're pushing the seat forward. If you're pushing it back, it should, it should toggle to the green, okay? So I'm going to hold the board down while I do this. And let's see here. I've got it on the brown. I'm pushing in so the board... Okay, so I'm going to put it on the green here. I'm going to go backwards. Okay, so the important thing to know, because there are only two wires going to the motor itself. It's just the brown and the green. So the way that it works is they're both grounded all the time until you activate the switch. And it basically disconnects the ground on whichever one, you're, which, whichever direction you're going. So if I'm going forward, it changes this from a ground to, um, to the hot, to the positive, and then the green is ground. And then if you're going to go backwards, it basically reverses. And that's how you get the forward and back motion out of just the two wires. Uh, I thought initially that the motor was grounded out, and that's how it was getting ground. But these actually carry ground all the time until you move the switch. Okay, So I'm going to pop this back together real quick, and then I'll show you uh, what I ended up doing on the motor side. I haven't actually diagnosed uh, or tried to troubleshoot why the motor's not working yet, but uh, I have determined that it's not. All right, so you can see I have the motor out here, <clears throat> and I've actually cleaned it up and taken a look at it a few times. Um, if I actually put it in, and I still can't get it to work. So I know I have power at my at my uh, jack here. So what I did essentially to get the motor out is I removed the two screws here on the end. They come in like this. They're long, they go the whole length of the motor itself. Uh, and then because these are like a flexible drive shaft, there was enough play to get the motor out. Okay, you can see I bent that a little bit, but I'm not too worried about it. Be careful, there is a uh, bushing on the back side here. And if you're going to leave the motor out, you want to get that out so you don't lose it. Okay, because my hope is I'm either going to be able to repair this or get a uh, different one used or new. Okay, so basically I've got uh, got my test light out. I'm into the brown wire. This is what you'd want to do to make sure you're getting juice. I'm going to push forward. Okay. So you can see that is working. Try the green one. I'll push backwards. Okay. So the other test you'll want to do is I'm going to test, um, what I'm doing is actually I'm, I'm hooking to the uh, ground here, but now I'm going to hook to the positive side because you need to make sure you're getting ground to those wires as well. So there's my positive and hook it here. Get the alligator clamp on there. Okay, so now it should be the opposite. So if I'm going to, uh, let's test it out here. I go brown again here. Okay. So now I have uh, ground on my brown right now. 
and I still have it when I push back, when I push forward, I don't have it. That's because that toggles to positive. And I'll just test the same on the green. This just gives you a couple of things you can do to test to make sure that it's, at least you're getting the power the way you should be getting it. Okay, there's my green. If I push forward, get nothing. If I push backwards, it goes out because at that point, it is a positive. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. It's just basically, they're, they're both grounded all the time. And then if you're going to push it forward, the brown goes to positive. If you're going to push it back, the green goes to positive. Okay? So here's what I ended up doing, because I've got to adjust this. The seat's way too far back. I, I suspect somebody pushed the seat back and it's stuck there. I'm using uh, one of these square bits. It's about the same size as is the end of this. I, I actually tried a drill and I had these on a drill, but you have to do both kind of at the same time because um, both rails adjust. So I'm actually just using this, okay? And I don't know if you can see it or not, but basically you can, you have to do each side sort of, you can either have two of them or you can do them a little bit at a time, okay? So if I want to bring the seat forward toward the dash, this needs to go this way. Okay. Likewise, I'll have to come over here. I have to reverse the direction of my ratchet, or if you're using a drill, same deal, and you have to go this way, right? Because the motor is turning in one direction and it's turning these, these worm gears um, in one direction. So, okay. So there is one way you can manually adjust your seat. Now I'm going to hopefully make another video and I'm going to try to get this thing either repaired or, or buy a different one. But the brushes don't look too bad here. I'm not exactly sure what the problem is with it. I'm not a, a motor expert or anything, but I like to tinker with things. So I may try to take a stab at getting it working on the bench. I'll make a little, uh, a little jig for it to sit in and, and try to hook it up and make it go. So hopefully this video has been helpful. Um, right now, again, I'm just trying to get the seat to move forward. And then uh, I'm going to continue on with some different things that are wrong with it. And it'll be more blazer videos, but um, hopefully they'll be a little bit different than the ones I've already posted. Thanks for watching. Leave questions and comments below. And good luck if you're having issues with your GM electronic seat. 